Jazz music is a constantly evolving musical style and is characterized by the fact that it includes many different styles of music from many different eras. The word jazz was first used to refer to music in Chicago around 1950. However, jazz started far earlier than that. The roots of jazz began in the 1800s in early blues, a folk music which arose in part from the work songs of rural blacks. This music was highly improvisational, a feature which remains fundamental to jazz today. In fact, a skilled jazz performer will interpret a tune in very individual ways and will rarely play a song exactly the same way twice. Use the simple present to talk about a situation that exists now, has existed in the past, and will probably exist in the future. For example, jazz includes music from many eras. We use the simple present. It's in the past, present, future. We use the simple past to talk about an action that began and ended in the past. A jazz band played at my sister's wedding last week. Last week is an exact time in the past, and so we use the simple past. Use the simple future to talk about something that will happen at one particular time in the future. A skilled performer will never play a song exactly the same way twice. In the future, playing the song will be different each time, tonight, next week, or next month. Complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb. I will give you a few minutes to look at the sentences to see which answers you would choose. Number one, the jazz show tomorrow night will start at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow tells us it is the future. Number two, the main trumpet player is sick. Who will play for him in the concert tomorrow? Again, tomorrow is future tense, and so we will use will. Number three, my sister listens to jazz all the time. All the time means that she listens to it. She listened to it yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The last time I went to a jazz concert, the band played for three hours. This is the last time, and so it is simple past because it is an exact time in the past. Now we shall look at the simple past and past progressive. In the 1800s, black musicians learned to play European musical instruments. Later, in the early 1900s, as black musicians were beginning to play music at dances and clubs, ragtime developed. Ragtime was a modification of popular marches with additional rhythms that came from African music. Ragtime gradually merged with the unique music that marching bands played at funerals in New Orleans. Later, the 1930s and 1940s added the smooth sounds of the big swing bands. By the 1950s and 1960s, the whole country was enjoying the works of jazz greats such as John Coltrane, Thelonious Monk, and Miles Davis. So we use the simple past for an activity that began and ended at a particular time, an exact time, in the past. Last week, I listened to a famous jazz trumpeter at the local community college. So it was last week. It began and ended in the past. We use the past progressive for activities that were in progress at a particular time in the past. Later, in the early 1900s, as black musicians were beginning to play music at dances and clubs, 
ragtime developed. So we're looking at, we use the past progressive because we're looking at the playing of the music as it began, and it was over time. It wasn't at one particular time. It was over time. It was a duration. And so therefore, we use a progressive tense. Complete each sentence with the correct past tense form of the verb. I will give you a few moments to look at the items yourself. Number one, many different musical styles contributed to the development of jazz. We use the simple past because we're talking about the different styles and at a particular time each of them contributed to the development of jazz. Number two, early jazz musicians combined folk music, work songs, and ragtime. Again, this is a particular time. It began and ended in the past. So we use the simple past. During the middle of the 20th century, jazz, jazz was influencing not only musical styles, but also cultural styles in many parts of the country. We use the past progressive because of the word during the middle during, which gives us duration, during the middle of the 20th century. That's a period of time, probably somewhere in between the 1950s, 1960s. Number four. By the 1980s and 1990s, people all over the world were listening to jazz music. Again, here we are talking about two decades, two 10-year periods, and so this is again over time a duration, so we use the past progressive. The end.